Is this not the most spectacularly beautiful launch failure you've ever seen? I've been seeing videos of this on my feed all day, and I thought that it was worth making a video not only to tell you about what happened, more about this company, and why this actually is very reminiscent of the early days of SpaceX. So this video is during the first test flight from ISAR Aerospace. ISAR Aerospace has become the first European commercial space company to launch an orbital rocket from continental Europe. And believe it or not, even though in this video it looks like obviously many things did go wrong, because this is their first test flight of the company's Spectrum LV from Andoya Spaceport in Norway, ISAR Aerospace says it met its set goals. So according to their press release, they're calling this successful, which is totally the right attitude to have. After ignition of its first stage and lift off, the launch vehicle successfully cleared the launch pad, was terminated at T plus 30 seconds, and fell directly into the sea in a controlled manner. And they add they'll now have a substantial amount of flight data and experience, which will pave the way for future missions. Most importantly, the launch pad at Andoya Spaceport remains intact. So yes, that is a huge win. And they even have Spectrum launch vehicles number two and number three already in production. The CEO posted, our first test flight met all our expectations, achieving a great success. We had a clean liftoff, 30 seconds of flight, and even got to validate our flight termination system. With this result, we feel confident to approach our second flight. And Tom Mueller, who was SpaceX employee number one and the famous designer of the Merlin rocket engine, wrote, at least it cleared the pad and acquired good data. This is about equal to the first flight of Falcon 1. A good start and hopefully next flight makes orbit. So I think that this is just a really interesting, you know, comparison to the early days of SpaceX. And listen, they looked exactly like this. The nice thing about this video is that it's so much better quality than when SpaceX was first getting the ball rolling in the early 2000s. And here's just a brief recap. So today we know Falcon 9, the workhorse of the space industry, and we see Falcon 9 launches all the time. But in the very beginning, SpaceX was testing out the Falcon 1 rocket, a two-stage small lift launch vehicle that was operated from 2006 to 2009. Falcon 1 was only launched five times, and the first three launch attempts failed. SpaceX was originally only going to have three launch attempts, three tries to get it right, but they decided to pull a Hail Mary, and Falcon 1 achieved orbit on its fourth attempt in September of 2008 with a mass simulator as a payload. And so after this, the Falcon 1 was retired in favor of the Falcon 9 version 1.0, the first version of, of course, the Falcon 9 that we know today. So it's just very interesting to see the similarities um, and, you know, potentially a new European version of SpaceX trying to get into the very hot and uh, growing space industry. So yeah, I just wanted to get this out there because the video, I've seen it from many different angles and it's, it's such a good video. I'd be surprised if you hadn't already seen it, but I know not everyone is on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. So I thought that you would enjoy it. I also wanted to point out that we have a lot of stuff coming up this week. So on Monday, March 31st, not only will we have a press conference with NASA's Crew-9 astronauts, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, as well as Nick Haig, uh, so they will be going live at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time to talk about their mission, and I'm sure they're going to get a lot of questions from the media. But even bigger news is that SpaceX is gearing up for a first-of-its-kind launch. The Fram 2, or Framonauts, will be launching on Monday. SpaceX is targeting Monday, March 31st at 9.46 p.m. Eastern Time for Falcon 9's launch of Fram 2 to a polar orbit from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There are three additional launch opportunities within the approximate 4.5 hour window, and if needed, backup opportunities are available Tuesday, April 1st, starting at the same time. 
The Dragon spacecraft supporting this mission previously flew Crew-1 to and from the International Space Station, Inspiration-4, the first all-civilian mission to orbit and Polaris Dawn, the first commercial mission to conduct an extravehicular activity from Dragon. This will be the sixth flight for the first stage booster supporting this mission, which previously launched Crew-9, RRT-1, Firefly Blue Ghost Mission-1, and two Starlink missions. So let's talk about the mission objectives. During their multi-day mission, three to five days, Dragon and the crew will explore Earth from a polar orbit and fly over Earth's polar regions for the first time. They'll also be conducting 22 research studies designed to help advance humanity's capabilities for long-duration space exploration and understanding of human health in space. They are planning to take the first x-ray in space, perform exercise studies to maintain muscle and skeletal mass, and grow mushrooms in microgravity. I hope they don't have psilocybin. That would really make you feel out of this world. (laughs) Additionally, after safely returning to Earth, the crew plans to exit from the Dragon spacecraft without additional medical and operational assistance, helping researchers characterize the ability of astronauts to perform unassisted functional tasks after short and long durations in space. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So I'm super excited for that. I will be on a plane to Taiwan and uh, actually two planes to get to Taiwan. And Taiwan's pretty far away from Texas. So I may be in the air when this happens. But I wanted to put this video out now so that you know about it and then hopefully be able to do a wrap up for you. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. It's free and it really helps me out. This is my full time job. And uh, YouTube has been a little bit rough lately, if I'm being honest. The views are down, but we're going to get them up again. So if you've watched this video, thank you for supporting me. I'll see you in the next video.